Now, Sherry Blair was recently offered the chance to drive a Porsche sports car, um, but she declined because she heard a voice in her head telling her not to. Sherry says the voice said, don't you dare do that. And then she realised that the voice was that of her husband. <laughs> so, um, she has Tony Blair helping her along and guiding her with what she does, but what inner voices have sort of guided you through your life? Well... Sadly, they didn't always should have been there when they were supposed to be there. I mean, I, I think I've got my own inner voices, which have been moulded, obviously, by our background, our parents and things. But <clears throat> when I was younger, I knew exactly what I shouldn't be doing. Mm -hmm. And as the voice went, please don't do that, I'd just go, ha, 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 dare you. And on I'd go, you know. Yeah. And I think as you get older, you do listen more and more to, to, your, to your inner self, really, because you learn by your mistakes. And I, I, I mean, my parents were brilliant, my, my friends. I, I did, I, I must say, when I was being bad as, as a young person, um, I sometimes had that weird thing, have you ever had that thing where you're actually watching yourself? It's like you stand outside yourself, watching yourself behave badly and think, why am I doing this? Will somebody come along and tell me not to do it? But I do try now. Did to... you have an inner, two inner voices? You know, the whole yes. angel well, and devil on the so There's four of us all. <laughs> <laughs> but, did you, but did you have, you know, one voice saying, "Oh, Linda, please don't," and another one saying, "Go on, it'll be fun." Did you just choose to listen to yes. the naughty voice? Yes, yes. I did yes. the same. I think I think it depends also what, what kind of you know phase you're going through in your life. I think if you're on. I've been through sort of a self-destruction period where I've had a bad inner voice mm -hmm. that's basically been my get-out-of-jail-free card, which is, you know, you must go home, it's five o'clock in the morning. No, why? There's no one there. You know, one more drink won't hurt, da-da-da. So that was then. But I think when things are good and you're on the up, I think you have a good voice and you have a lot of reason to keep your life in check and a bit more organised. Mm -hmm. And I, I'm such a guilty person. Mm -hmm. I've always, I'm, you know, I've... I've have guilt for everything so which you know something I have to sort of manage and, and you know I'm a bit of a slave to it in my life but on a positive note it's the very thing that stops me doing things that might hurt someone or let people down yeah. do you know what I mean it's my guilt thinking oh I can't do that they won't like me or I would be a dreadful person if I do that so yeah, I do have an inner voice I have yeah. several actually I'm a whole cast of inner voices yeah. Yeah. I, I still um... I think it like you were saying Linda it's, it's how you're brought up and I, I still hear me dad in, in, in my head saying don't even think about it and my grandmother I often smile because even when I'm doing something good and she would have liked it I have that voice saying that's great so I have yeah. all sorts of voices but I've just never I've never had that voice that said go on do that I, I wish I had actually really? I don't Not think really? that voice is in my head I've always thought no because I can't let my parents down I've always thought, no, I can't do that because that would be disrespectful. So I've always had that choice. You know, we're, on about, we're always on about choice. Yeah. And yes. I've always had that voice in my head saying, what would your mother think mm. if, if you did that? Do you and know what? So... With me, it's my dad. And, you know, I have, my parents are very strict, as you know. And I think part of it stems from when I finally left home. Uh, you know, my, my dad, he was really good at DIY and this sort of thing. And I can remember, you know, I moved into my, my first sort of digs. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm a McLean. You can get these pictures of the McLean tartan and the McLean logo, and also uh, th there's a, a picture of a man standing like this on a rock, looking very proud, and he sort of represented the clan McLean. And my dad put them. It was a picture of a man scowling like this, and my dad put it above my bed, and then he <laughs> said, "That's me watching." <laughs> you think of doing something that you know you shouldn't, I will be watching it. And it's stayed with me ever since. Oh, no pressure there, then. It explains then. a lot. <laughs> you can hear actual arguments, can't you, taking place if yes. you do something naughty. You can actually hear several voices. I can't believe you did that. Well, I didn't mean to do it. Well, what time do you call this? Then? When you, you, feel like you can actually no. really yeah. physically... And also, you, oh, for me, anyway, I can justify it, you know, because I get to a certain point in my life where I think, oh, I haven't done this yet, I haven't done that yet. And then the other voice says, yeah, but you're very busy. Mm -hmm. You've got two kids, you've got a dog, you've got to take them for a walk, you've got laundry to do. You've got this, that, and the other voice says, shut up. There are people who are far busier than you that you have done this, 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 and this. <laughs> I'm a little rage. You could do a, my a panel show on your own. Yes. You, couldn't you? Oh, yes. <laughs> okay, time for one last little break.